Hi, this is Sue Stampfield with SueStampfield.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I wanted to share with you this adorable little uh, snowman, snowman bottle tag done with punch art. And then we have a little embellishment to go on the top of the bottle that says for you. Um, you can put this on a wine bottle or I chose to put it on uh, the sparkling white grape juice and it would make a really cute uh, gift for a neighbor or a hostess if you're going to someone's house for an event. And it just hangs on the bottle right like that. And then I put my little um, embellishment here that said for you. I just put that right around the top. I've got some big, a loop of baker's twine and that just slides right on. So let's go ahead and start making our snowman here. Um, very snowy here in Minnesota. Here I'll take you show you out the window. It's starting to get dark out, but you can see we've got quite a bit of snow out there at the moment. So for our body, I've got the two inch circle punch. The two inch punch is a newer punch for us that's done in Whisper White. For the head we have the one and three eighths inch punch. And then our hat is made with the extra large oval punch and the one and three eighths punch, the same one uh, we used for the head. So to make the hat, what I did is I just went in with my snips and I just cut off a little bit from each side, kind of angling it like that. And then when I place my white extra large oval on top of it, that gives me that hat shape. So for our, our face, we need to get our, our nose here. And the nose is done in Tangelo Twist and I've used the tree punch actually to punch that out. So, and we'll punch out about just about that much. The tip of our Christmas tree or should we call it our nose punch today. And we're ready to put that on. Now I like to put the nose on before I draw the mouth. Um, otherwise I tend to get the mouth too low it seems I'm gonna like. I'm going to use the two-way glue pen to add just a little dot of glue to the back of that and add that to my circle. And now I'm going to take the Project Life marker. Um, this is the Project Life journaling pens, I should say. And I have uh, number 05 here, which is the little bit whiter of the two. Um, you could use either one, but I prefer to use the little bit whiter one for this. So I've got my mouth on my snowman there. And I'm going to attach that to the body with a glue dot. Okay, we're ready to add our scarf. For the scarf, I have a strip of the Trim the Tree paper, and I've cut that down to a half an inch wide. So again, I'm going to go to my glue dots, and just press onto the roll and lift, and just use it to cover up that seam. And then for the ends of our scarf, we're going to go with uh, the Banner Punch. So I have a half inch strip of that same pattern from the Trim the Tree Designer Series Paper Stack. And I'm going to take my banner punch and if you can see this, my paper is actually cut narrower than the banner punch in the width, um, but I'm still able to punch it. So I just make sure when I put it in here that I have the same amount above and below. So you can see that, tilt that so you can see it better. Um, and just punch that out and repeat. And that's the tails for your scarf. So we're going to go ahead and attach that with, once again, glue dots. So there we have the flags for our scarf. And I'm going to go ahead and add the buttons. Um, the buttons are punched out from the Cupcake Builder Punch. They're actually the sprinkles for the uh, cupcake. And I have a toothpick here. What you can do to pick up little items like this is take your two-way glue pen and just get a little glue on the edge of a, end of a toothpick. And when that uh, glue dries, it's going to dry tacky like a post-it note. And so you can use that just for placement. So I'll go to my uh, snowman's tummy here and put a couple dots of glue where I want those buttons to go. And just place that down and grab the other one and pop that on as well. So that so let me tell you the measurements that we have for our um, bottle tag here. The cardstock is Cherry Cobbler and I cut it at 8.5 inches by 3 and 1 8 inches. 
and then I scored it at three and one eighth inch. So that gave me this top part that is a, a square that's three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And then to get the hole, um, you could use a punch, but with the three and an eighth, it's not going to fit into the center. So what I did is I actually took our um, our circle framelits and just sent it through, cut out that hole. So here's our circle collection framelits right here. And I used the third in from the smallest one. Then our last little uh, finishing touch on this is the, um, besides the snowflake embellishment, is our ribbon. This is the beautiful sheer linen uh, cherry cobbler ribbon that's in the holiday catalog. And that just adds a very festive touch to this. To trim my ribbon, I just folded it in half and then I cut facing out in a V shape, just like that, and that gives you those little chevron ends on your ribbon. So, okay, so let's pop this little guy on. I'm going to put it on him on with dimensionals, and I'm going to put those dimensionals um, wherever there are pieces that sort of overlap, just as a little extra security. So I've got a piece where his head meets his body and where the, um, the brim of the hat meets the top of the hat, and then I would put one more down here. Okay, and I've got just enough room for my word snow at the bottom here. Let's slide my ribbon up just a touch. And um, let's stick on that embellishment. Again, I'm going to use a glue dot. And I don't actually put it in the center because the center, the center has a little hole. So I'm actually going to put the glue dot to one side of the hole. And I'll put a glue dot on the other side of the hole. So I've got two glue dots on there. And we'll just stick them right over that seam. And this uh, embellishment is actually made to hang, so it does have a little hole piece. Um, and I'm just putting that off to one side. There we go. So let's do our word snow. To do the word snow, I used another set of framelits. This is our um, snowflake thinlet die framelit. It makes a really pretty uh, snowflake card, like this one here. So when you send it through and cut it out, it cuts the, um, that shape, so it makes it super easy. But it also has three words in it. One of them is joy, one of them is snow, and one of them is burr. We're using snow today. So I have the word uh, snow already cut out here and ready to go. And I'm just going to attach that to my piece with the two-way glue pen again. Um, when you're cutting a very uh, intricate um, framelit like these word ones, this one actually says burr, um, you need to do uh, something a little different with the glimmer paper. So if you're just cutting it out of regular cardstock, I would recommend you put a layer of wax paper and then your cardstock and then cut it out like you normally would a frame on a magnetic platform with two plates. Um, but if you're going to do it out of glimmer paper, glimmer paper has a little bit of a plastic coating on the back and it's quite thick, so it's a little bit hard for these really intricate dies to um, cut it out. So I would recommend that you shim it with a piece of cardstock. So for the top of my bottle, I have a snowflake that's cut out with that same set of framelits. You can see the snowflake right there, and I cut that out of the glimmer paper. I did it the same way with wax paper. In the center of that I have the words for you that I stamped with this cute stamp set which is called Letterpress Winter and you'll see the for you right there. And we're going to just pop that on top of our snowflake with another dimensional. And then I've used a little bit of our Cherry Cobbler Baker's Twine just to wrap around the top of the snowflake to make a um, just a little hanger so that I can hang that onto my bottle. If you'd like to see more projects like this please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I almost forgot, I wanted to show you a card that we made using the same design um, in my Holiday Card Express class. We just added in a greeting on the outside from the Project Life Holiday Cheer stamp set that says, Baby, it's cold outside. And then the inside of our card has a very merry everything to you and yours. Thanks for stopping by.